All right. Let's see what we got going on here now. All right. So this is the uh, second part of the video for this little sun room. We ended up having to put decking down uh, because the the only substrate beneath this decking was the original tongue and groove, and it's I don't know half inch maybe and 100 years old so we sheeted i sheeted over this yesterday i'm just starting to put the actual roof on so this is the base sheet or the first ply um, it's a peel and stick now it's a little cool so i'm going to try to pick it up if i can so i just put this down so it's already sticking um, if you're really concerned about it slipping say if it was a little cooler because we are on a slight incline here and that's the edge of the roof there I would put a couple of nails in it if I was even worried about it slipping on me. But the sticky side, the underside of this stuff doesn't really want to slip. Um, I've got it overhanging here and on the edges just a little bit so it'll wrap down when I put my metals on this. But uh, let's look at how to put this stuff down. Um, first thing I would say is measure the, the lengths you need and make your cuts on the ground because these rolls are, I don't know, 80, 100 pounds, they're pretty heavy. And I'm not much different than you guys. I don't really want to pick up heavy stuff either. So it's easier if you make your cuts on the ground and then just bring your cuts all the way up to the roof. Much, much easier. You, you gotta make a couple more trips, but uh, it's definitely worth it, I think. So you wanna roll it out. Um, it's going to start to lay flat when it when you just roll it out. It kind of has some muscle memory. So let's measure to the top. I mean, ideally, I like a four-inch overlap uh, this way. Um, so to get to the top, we're good if we stay close to that. So it's pretty nice stuff. You you can you can cheat it a little here and there if you feel like you're out of whack. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but the straighter you can put it on, the easier it is to read what you're doing. So, let's pick this guy up, and you just look at your lines. These have uh, lines for four, lines for three inch. You can see them here and here. So we're gonna line them up. And doing this by yourself, if you don't have a second set of hands, Sometimes it can slip around on you, but for the most part, as long as you're pretty close and you can, a lot of times if you're in the middle of a run, a small run like this, you can teeter it one way or the other. Um, so I'm gonna cheat that back a little bit, that's up a little bit. And then I'll go ahead now that I'm below the material, I'll go ahead and pull the bottom film first so that it sticks and then I can walk up without it slipping because this stuff is slick. So. As soon as you can get it to stick, that's better for you. Um, so pick up the material. This material, this film, one side won't stick and the other side will stick to this material. So you wanna do it kind of carefully. So you pick it up and you fold it under and you hand it to your other hand and lay the material down. Go ahead and wipe it out so that that sticks and that kind of holds. And then all you do is you walk down the line pulling this film out. And that's really it for that. Now for the, the film, once you have it, just take the film and tie it into a couple of knots. Because this stuff likes to blow. And uh, just throw it to the ground. So that's how you do that course you want to don't forget and get in a hurry like I just did and not pull the top film so you pull it back let the material go to the ground and then walk down the line pulling it I'd say the temperature today is about perfect because it's just warm enough to stick but you know if it's really hot when you do this stuff your room your margin of error drops dramatically because if the, if the material is warm and it holds on itself if it touches itself uh, things like that you know it, it is really sticky this is what they did with the uh, torch down modified is they said look I mean the torches are dangerous 
you know, if we can do a peel and stick version of this, and they did it, it's really nice. This base sheet is a really nice waterproof base sheet, uh, and it's smooth on top because the cap sheet is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna stick to the top of the base sheet. It doesn't require fasteners, although we still have to put the metals on next. So the next little video I shoot will be putting the edge metals on and seating those down in a mastic or a tar. So uh, that's how you put this product down, the base sheet. And the next thing I do, I'll set up the camera and we'll do, uh, do the metals going on the edges.